When we view planet Earth from space, we see what looks like a giant blue marble spinning through the darkness. It doesn't resemble any other planet in our solar system. But why is that? Approximately 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, a natural resource that lets life thrive on our planet. Of all of the water on Earth, only 3% is fresh water, and nearly 97% of it is located underground in natural aquifers. The High Plains Aquifer, otherwise known as the Ogallala Aquifer, is located in the central United States, and it's one of the biggest in the world. In fact, it underlies more than 170,000 square miles of land that extends through eight different U.S. states. It's the primary water source for farms and communities in one of the world's most significant agricultural regions. And at current use rates, it will be depleted by 70% by 2070. This semi-arid region is harsh and intricate, and farmers must carefully plan for their operations each year with zero room for error to remain profitable. However, there's one crop that's especially well-suited to help manage water resources as well as production risks. Sorghum is naturally drought tolerant, and the farmers who grow it play a pivotal role in conserving water and providing a sustainable food source for people across the world. News of the declining water levels of the Ogallala Aquifer is anything but new, especially for farmers. We've been witnessing the depletion for years, and it will continue to be a primary concern in the coming decades. The current condition of the Ogallala Aquifer is, is really quite serious. The challenge that we're all facing is it was overdeveloped. Where I sit in southwest Kansas in Stanton County, the aquifer goes to uh, about 600 feet deep. And that's where we run into what's called red bed, and that's the bottom of the aquifer in our area. Over 90% of the water pumped from the aquifer is used to irrigate crops, with billions of dollars a year in food and fiber dependent on its water resources. This demand creates massive water level reductions throughout the aquifer, with some areas already depleted and others seeing significant declines. The Ogallala Aquifer is being mined. In other words, it is being depleted faster than it can be replenished. Um, some areas are being mined faster than others. And if we continue to let this go, then we're going to get to the bottom. And that is not something that we want to see for locals or even it'll become a worldwide problem uh, because of the agriculture that is produced uh, here within the entire Ogallala region itself. Groundwater managers look at those depletions and we, we look at ways that we can cut back in order to um, slow that depletion down. The variability of annual rainfall on the High Plains is also becoming increasingly volatile, leading to longer and more severe droughts that create additional pressures on the Ogallala Aquifer. Drought conditions accelerate its decline as groundwater resources are used to offset lack of precipitation. Where we're at, I probably won't be irrigating the ground that, that I'm on in five years. It's not that the aquifer will be depleted at that point. It will be far enough down that the energy that it takes to lift the water up for the amount of water that you can get at a time will not be economically viable to continue. It's expensive to pump that water. It's very, very expensive to pump that water, and farmers cannot use just as much water as they want. They are regulated by not only their water right, but also regulations with the local enhanced management area. They're using only really what they need to produce a crop. They're dependent upon that crop to put bread and butter on, on their table. For much of the 21st century, most of the region has suffered at least some level of drought with some areas experiencing extreme drought, a significant issue for farmers looking to maintain a healthy and productive harvest. Because we can't irrigate on the high plains the, the level that we used to, then uh, the consistency of the crops that we'll be able to grow year over year will be much more dependable on Mother Nature and what we're able to get from the sky. When it comes to rainfall, we're about 15 inches a year annual here in, in uh, southwest Kansas. You really have to 
make each step count. Because of the declining Ogallala Aquifer and volatile weather patterns, it's important to grow resilient and resource-conserving crops like sorghum and use other innovative tools to help conserve as much water as possible. Sorghum is a very resource-conserving crop and does very well in the arid climates where, where rain is few and far between. And if it, if it gets uh, run short for a little while, it doesn't just give up and die. It goes into defense, it lies dormant, and then the next rain comes and then it'll pick up and, and carry on from there. It's true. Sorghum is incredibly drought tolerant. And since it requires 30% less water than other cereal crops to thrive, that kind of savings could supply 16 million homes with water annually. Additionally, sorghum has twice as many secondary roots per unit of primary roots compared to other cereal crops, and its roots can extract water deep from within the soil. So when surface soil becomes dry, the plant can still maintain a healthy life cycle. Exactly how much water can sorghum save? Well, approximately 91% of sorghum acres in the U.S receive enough moisture through natural rainfall to produce yields, resulting in 1.5 trillion gallons of irrigation water savings per year, which is the same amount of water that flows over Niagara Falls every three weeks. Sorghum uses a considerable amount less water than, than some of the more intensive um, crops. That, that are known to be grown in this area and by um, incorporating sorghum into a crop rotation can be very beneficial to, to conserve um, and utilize less water. As you can see, we must conserve our natural resources like water to continue to feed our growing population because 2070 will be here sooner than we think. Our world and the High Plains will look drastically different without the water smart practices farmers have begun to use. Fortunately, resilient and drought tolerant crops like sorghum play a crucial role in saving water and providing a sustainable food and ingredient source for people across the world. <laughs>